Did you know that the Bible says in Matthew 12, 25, that a kingdom divided against itself cannot stand? Verse 25 reads, And Jesus knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. So as the church, who is a part of the body of Jesus Christ, we are all supposed to be knit and joined together to do a certain work. That means that the people in the church should not be divided. They shouldn't stand against each other because that means they're really not kingdom, according to the word of God. Have you ever seen people debating about a topic, especially in the body of Christ? Or have you seen one person standing up about a certain truth in God, and you see another person who is standing against what the other person is saying is God's truth? And you see one person saying this is true, and you see the other person saying that this is false. You know that both of them are filled with the Holy Spirit. They both believe in Jesus. So why is there a disagreement in their beliefs? I'll give you an example. Let's use the names Tim and Jim. Tim is stating that he heard from God. Tim says that God is showing him and speaking to him that salt can be used for spiritual reasons to help people, not only just for food, but it can be used to fight against bad things that people have been encountering. Tim says that salt is like a fire in the spirit. And Tim backs up what he is saying by providing scriptures. And the scriptures line up with what Tim is stating. Tim is actually helping people use salt and salt is changing other people's lives. And God is getting the glory. However, we have Jim who was saying that they also heard from God as well. And Jim says that God told him salt is bad. Jim says, you are only supposed to use salt for food and for your driveway when it snows to melt the ice. Jim also provides scriptures that line up with what he is saying. So how do we know who is hearing from God and who is not hearing from God? And why is it that we see a division in the body of Christ? if both of these people are supposed to be true followers of Jesus. Now, we don't start to point fingers at one person and try to shame them. We need to learn who was right and who was wrong, not to say that this person was wrong and that they missed it. We learn to know the truth so that the other person can grow. Because if you don't learn where you missed it, Satan will use this to deceive you. The Bible says that the Holy Spirit is the one that will guide you into all truth. John 16, 13 reads, How be it, when he, the Spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, he will show you things to come. Jesus said there is the Spirit of truth that will guide you into all truth, not some truth, all truth. So there's one person that doesn't have all truth, and there's one person that has maybe some truth. There's no such thing as you have your truth and I have my truth. There's only all truth, which can only be guided by the Spirit of truth, the Holy Spirit. 1 Corinthians 2.13 reads, which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth, but which the Holy Ghost teacheth, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. When you see a man speaking, know that it's not his wisdom that he's teaching, but it's the Holy Ghost that's teaching him, those who are truly being taught by the Holy Ghost. The AMP says, We also speak of these things, not in words taught or supplied by human wisdom, but in those taught by the Spirit, combining and interpreting spiritual thoughts with spiritual words for those being guided by the Holy Spirit. Again, those being guided by the Holy Spirit are able to combine and interpret spiritual thoughts with spiritual words, and they are able to teach by the Spirit because they have allowed themselves to be guided and taught by the person who knows all truth, the Spirit of truth, which is the Holy Spirit. The way that you learn who's telling the truth 
is that you have to be able to build the inner voice of the Holy Spirit within for yourself. It's based on the level of understanding and knowledge that you have obtained from the written word of God, which is the Logos word of God. Someone who has enough of the written or Logos word of God within them is able to know the voice of God better, which is a rhema word. Rhema is the word of God that is revealed. It is the inspired word of God. The word of God was once written because it was revealed through inspiration. So a person needs to have more of the written word of God within them. You'll notice that these type of people live a lifestyle that lines up more with the word of God because they understand more of the word of God. The character of the person will line more up with the word of God. The way they speak, they're always talking about the word of God. They use the word of God to justify everything in their life because they have that written word built up within them enough. Then they are able to accurately explain, apply, and consistently practice that written word. But it all starts based on the understanding and knowledge that they have. So the way that you can personally judge who God is speaking to is that you have to know the level and understanding of knowledge that each person knows about salt, which was our example, or about any topic. The person that lacks understanding and knowledge is not going to hear accurately what God is saying to them because you need a better foundation to be able to prove what God is saying. The person has to be more full of not just understanding and knowledge, but they also have to be consistently practicing what they're saying and applying what they're saying. You have to find a way to bring a more perfect understanding and you bring a more accurate truth by bringing more understanding, more knowledge. And when you're able to understand questions or doubts people have, you'll also see fruit behind the answers. A person should be able to better answer questions about the topic that's being discussed because this will help remove doubts and the misunderstanding that others may have. You need full understanding about a topic because if you don't, you won't understand fully what God is saying to you. There's a clarification that needs to take place because somewhere there is a confusion about the topic. And the Bible says that God is not the author of confusion. In 1 Corinthians 14, 33, it reads, For God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints. It is only Satan that wants to bring lies because Jesus said in John 8, 44, that Satan is the father of lies. So we, as the church, need to stand up for the truth, finding out what is really true behind all things. The Bible says that ye shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. This way, we can not only know the truth, but we also set others free who have been living in bondage in areas of their life that they thought were truth. And remember, all truth comes by one person and it's the Holy Spirit. God bless you in Jesus name.